I just used an AI agent to build the foundation to four different businesses that could each generate thousands of dollars per month. I built a Netflix clone. I built an SEO consulting dashboard. I built a gambling education simulator and a digital product empire. And I did it all in just one hour using this Minimax AI agent. But here's the crazy part. I'm going to give you all of the prompts that I used, the exact workflows I went through, and I'll even give you one of the complete creations for free so that you can use them as well. So if you're an entrepreneur looking to build multiple income streams or you're just curious about what AI agents can do, then get ready. Today's experiment started simple. I wanted to test if Minimax agent could really live up to the hype. Could it build production ready applications from a simple prompt? Could it handle complex workflows? And most importantly, could it create something valuable enough that people would actually pay for it? Well, I already created an SEO analyzer that saved me hundreds of dollars and even sold my digital coloring book on Etsy that I created with this exact method. So I'd say the test was definitely successful, but let me show you everything I built and exactly how you can replicate it. And I'll link everything so you can copy it for free. First, I wanted to see how good this agent is at cloning websites. So I built this Netflix style streaming platform. I simply gave it a one line prompt and look at what I got. The prompt is clone Netflix and then I gave it the URL. Now this is what differentiates Minimax from just ChatGPT or other things that we know. Minimax is really an agent. First what it does is it creates an outline of what it's doing and then it follows each of these steps. It has access to web tools and can build code as you can see here on the right hand side. And it's building not only code, but it's also gathering information on the web. It's taking screenshots, it's taking source data. And here you can see all of the information that it's gathered so far, and it's already ready. So you can see here, this was the sped up version of my whole prompting experience. This whole thing probably took like a minute instead of a few seconds. But in the end, what it gives you is it gives you the PDF with the task summary uh, Netflix homepage clone and it walks you exactly through what it did. So in this case, it's created the live website, which is live here. We'll check that out in just a second, but here's the execution process. It analyzed the different data. It did a project summary It did asset acquisition. And here it analyzes exactly everything that it did. It outlines the technical features and the final deliverable. The key files are really the ones that can be downloaded here in the Netflix clone.zip. And if you're curious into the exact steps that it did, it followed this to-do list. This was the to-do list that it started early off in the process. And as you can see here, this was a really straightforward clone. When we showcase the other tools later, this will be much more in depth. Anyways, before we talk too much, let's get right to the website. So we can see here that the, net, the website is deployed at this website and it's live. Look at that. I just created this in just a few minutes and it's not Netflix. This is the replicated thing that we created. So it has the exact same style as Netflix. And when you hover over it, it has the same color scheme, the, probably the same font and the same outline. So if we go now to Netflix and compare this, this is probably, this is strikingly similar. Look at this, this compared to that, that is so similar. This is really impressive. Let's see if it also has an Espanol version. That would be too much. Okay, it does not work here, but if we were to follow up prompt in Minimax, I'm sure we could get the Espanol version uh, going as well. And nothing happens if you click on the sign in button. But again, we didn't ask for that level of depth and we didn't ask it to create videos. We just asked it to clone the website and it did so really well. The business potential here is massive. Think of any website you want to clone and you just enter it and you have the foundation to get ready and use that as your foundation for your own website. I know cloning and like copying people, you can't just copy any website. You need to do it with a certain amount of originality. Otherwise you're walking right into copyright infringements, etc. But for me, it's really about the potential here. What if you said, um, do a difference between Netflix and uh, Amazon? Like what would Amazon look like if they had the design principles of Netflix? And the clone could probably achieve all of that. So I tried to do something similar here and I added my own spin to this Netflix and I asked it to create Netflix, but with my content from my YouTube channel. Let's see how it tackled that more complex problem. So the prompt I gave it is a little bit more in depth and I will link that below. Clone Netflix, but make it super personalized. And then I gave it more information about myself and my YouTube channel. So now you see that it has more steps of the things that it's running through. It's not only creating the website, it's also looking up what I do with my YouTube channel. It's gathering all of the data from my videos and the links as well as the thumbnails in order to integrate them into this Netflix clone with my personal channel. And once again here, you can see that it's using the different computer tools and some of these are more complex than the coding that I can do. But as you can see here, it's building all of these files and getting ready to deploy this on the web. 
And here we can see that it's already deploying it and uh, it's troubleshooting. There's some error messages that it's trying to solve on its own. And this is where the agentic part of this uh, agent come from. All right, it's uh, completed the task. So let's check it out and see if it was successful. Here we go. This is the Netflix style as, you, as we are used to it with the search video at the top right corner, the login button and the search functionality. We have my most viewed video, how to use Suno AI tutorial as the cover. And it looks very similar to the Netflix style. And here we have all of my videos. Look at this. They're all linked based on different categories, latest updates, most popular, AI music and audio creation. This is super exciting and I can't believe it did this well on the first try without me having to send any follow-up prompts. Let's see if we can also watch these videos. So what about uh, if we're interested in the easiest way to write a, a Twitter thread? It links me directly to my YouTube channel and I'm able to watch it. Have you ever wondered how to write? Wow. It just did all of that. So this is a website that you can check out yourself as well right now. And this is a way more fun user experience than my YouTube channel. I mean, my YouTube channel is also well-designed, but this gives it this extra originality that makes it look so much more professional. If you think about it, there's probably some creators out there that would pay to have their own website linked to their YouTube channel, just like we just showcased here and then make it more engaging to view their YouTube channel on their own website. That could be a business idea right there. But speaking of websites, that brings us to the second use case right here. Let me show you exactly how I save thousands in SEO consulting fees by simply asking this agent to be my SEO optimization expert. The problem I'm trying to solve with this is that my website is fairly new and doesn't have too many backlinks. So I want to figure out how can I rank higher so that more people find my website organically. And this is where things get really interesting for business applications. You'll see in a second that I created a complete SEO analysis and optimization dashboard from real-time tracking features. As you can see, this prompt is a little bit more complex and I will link it below as well. I uploaded all of the data from my Google Analytics and my Google Search Console, and then I just let the agent do what it needed to do. And as you can see here, it did not only go through all of the data that I provided, it also went through my website itself it downloaded the robo tags, it downloaded the, the site structure and the site map. It went into the source code, it did some site speed analysis and all of that without me even asking it to do that thing. It gathered all the information, it determined what works well with the site and what doesn't work well with the site. And then it created this complete report to do an in-depth analysis of my exact SEO standpoint and my website ranking. As you can see here, it provided the SEO file and I asked it to continue the task because it wasn't quite done and I wanted it to finish more things as well. So once it finished it, it gave me the executive summary of the task, but I didn't have a dashboard. So now I ask it for additional information here in order to turn this into a dashboard that I can view online and share with other people instead of having to share a PDF. So let's check it out in a new tab. And here we have the dashboard. As we can see here, my SEO health is very low. Um, and that is not good. I mean, that's why I'm ranking poorly right now. According to this, my uh, click-through rate is 10 times below average and my average position is 53, which is also less than the target, less than 20. We can see the different 90-day progress of the overview and this is where the things get really exciting. It doesn't only show me where I stand with the SEO, I ask it also to give me actionable steps and insights in order to improve this. It tells me that I have an extremely low click-through rate, that there's massive uh, traffic opportunity, that I'm getting a lot of impressions, but not a lot of clicks. And then it tells me about the poor search visibility that I usually I land on page five, which is not good enough. Here are quick wins. Start here. Add homepage meta description. So apparently I didn't have a homepage meta description. So that's a big red flag. And I can improve that in just five minutes. Fix keyword ranking checker page. So here there's a lot of people that don't click on that page. So if I improve the meta description, there's thousands of people that see that link, but don't click on it. So if I improve on that, I could probably 10x my traffic. It also tells me to optimize my top three high impression pages. And this could take two hours, but increase my traffic by 200 to 500%. Here's the performance analysis. We have the different click and impression trends. We have the top pages by impressions, top queries by impressions, and then traffic by device. This is really cool that it put together all of these graphs without me prompting it. And now to the actionable part of things, it made me a 90 day action plan checklist. So I can check or uncheck these different things. And I think it will also track them right here in the action tracker, one task completed. So it really built me a custom to-do list uh, in one website that I can follow and hopefully track the results later on as well. And this is super in-depth. You can see here uh, the estimated time, the expected improvement of things, 
and then it gives me that for each individual week for 90 days. And I haven't read all of these, but this is really impressive. And I can even export this checklist as a JSON file. Now, you're probably thinking either, hey, this was way too complex, or you were thinking, oh, I already knew how to do this. But my mind is kind of blown here. This is super impressive. It was not only able to tell me the health of my website, it was able to do a custom analysis of what I could improve. And it gave me this dashboard that I could now follow and do step by step, day by day in order to improve it. These are the kind of things that people pay hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to design agencies and SEO agencies. And we just created our own little dashboard and tracker. If we wanted to, we could sell the service probably and sell it for $500 to $1,000 and literally just use Minimax in order to build these dashboards for other people. And you might have thought that this is as good as it gets, but it gets even better. The third use case that I wanted to share with you is something where my friend was going to Vegas for a bachelor party and he asked me, Mo, how do I play blackjack? And I told him there's a table that you need to learn in order to play the optimal round of blackjack. And he said, I don't want to memorize anything. So you know what I did? I went into Minimax and I created a whole simulator that makes it fun to play and practice playing blackjack in the optimal way. Let me show you. The prompt for this one is a little bit more complex. I asked it to create a beautifully designed blackjack uh, practice simulator and I didn't upload any files for this one. I just let it do its thing. And then I did a follow-up prompt down here where I added additional functionality later on. But let me show you the end result. And these are the only two prompts that I gave it. And it did everything else on its own. You can see here that it designed and uh, developed a complete blackjack practice simulator. And it added a comprehensive credit system after I tasked it to do that in the follow-up prompt right here. Without further ado, let's check it out. This is the blackjack simulator. Keep in mind, this is fully hosted and online for you to play. You can go and check it out, link in the, in the description, and start playing this today. So let's say you want to place your bet. Place uh, $10 right here, and I'm placing my bet. Now it gives me the dealer's hand, which shows a 6, and my hand, which is a queen and an 8. So an 18 is pretty strong, so I'm going to say I want to stand. And it set, tells me that it's the correct decision but that unfortunately the dealer got a 21, so the dealer wins and I lost money. I added this uh, detailed statistics where you can see how much money you won or how much money you lost. And you can even see your credit history with the different bets that you made. So let's try this again and see if we can win a hand. So let's bet big, deal a new hand, say 100 credits, and all of this is imaginary credits, but we have a 14 showing and the dealer is at a 10. So we want to probably hit, I don't know, I don't know how to play blackjack. It says correct decision. Wonderful. We hit a 13, so we probably want to hit correct decision. And we're at 17. Let's stand. And the dealer busts and we won. We won $100. So let's see our credit history here. And our credit history is almost back to 1,000 where we started. And this is cool. Can you believe that it, we built an entire practice simulator? with the instructions that you need, with a history of recent decisions that tracks the correct, incorrect total amounts, as well as the credit balance and the credit history, as well as detailed statistics. This is just phenomenal. This is a whole, whole game website that you could now host ads on. I even included the, this uh, strategy guide that I asked it to include that so that you, if you have questions and wanted to study, you can always just go back to your strategy guide. But overall, this is very impressive. The business application for this is also super brilliant. So gambling, education, casino training, platforms, affiliate marketing for casino sites, there's just so many opportunities to kind of build these kind of mini games or education platforms and sell them to people or just put them up on the web for people to be entertained and practice. So let me bring you to the next use case. And this one is actually already making money. I created a coloring book generator that creates custom coloring books based on any theme that I wanted. And I've already sold $14.07 worth of coloring books that I created with this exact tool. We can see that I made a total revenue of $14.07 with over 160 visits, 3% of them bought my book, and I sold this book for $6. Nevertheless, this was actually a passion project where I wanted to create this for my niece and have her something to color in that I created with AI. So let me show you how I did that. This is pretty straightforward. I just asked it to create a 20 page coloring book following the adventure of Ellie the young elephant who gets lost in the jungle. And I also ask it not only to create a website, but also to give me a PDF that has the merged images as well as the story so that I can print this out and uh, bind it so that there is some hardware where 
my niece can now fill this in with uh, crayons. So similar to the websites, it created all of this from scratch. It selected um, the to-do list of what it needed to create. And if we click here, it created the plan of what the story should uh, be and what's on each page. And it follows a cohesive story. It has the title of the page, the description of each page, as well as the illustration of each. And it first created this website, but also a PDF that can be downloaded. So here you can see the pages and you can read through them one by one. And these have consistent characters with consistent elephants and consistent drawing style and line width. And if you want all of this at once, just click on the download your coloring book option. And here's my coloring book. Here's the title page. And then we have page by page, Ellie and her family. But where did everyone go? Ellie feels lost. Which way to go? And then she finds a monkey. She finds a friend. She finds a fish and she carefully finds her family again. And if you wanna support me, you can buy one of these or you can just go onto the free click link uh, in the bio and also download them for free and print them out for any kids that you might know that would appreciate a custom coloring book as well. And if they're happy, that makes me happy. Now, here's the secret. It's not just about Minimax agent. It's about how you structure your prompts. I discovered a specific framework that gets consistently amazing results. The framework has three different parts. First, context and setting. Tell it exactly what type of business foundation you're building. The second step has to do with feature specification. You need to be very specific about the functionality and user experience. This is where I usually describe the actions of the users or the habits of uh, the user. The third thing is you need to be very specific about the output requirements. If you have a clear idea of what the output should be, describe that as detailed as possible. For the simple Netflix clone, I just typed in these four words and it was able to create the Netflix clone. So that was simple enough. However, for my personalized Netflix clone, I told it first to clone Netflix, but also to make it hyper-personalized. I gave it my YouTube channel, what my videos are about, and what I want the videos to be like. For the coloring book creator, you can see exactly that I gave it the story that I wanted to come up with. I could have also left that open ended, but I knew exactly what kind of direction I wanted to go in. And I told it exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to include page titles and a brief story description for each illustration and so on and so forth. So all of these details really add up and help you create better uh, applications with AI agents because the agent knows exactly what you are looking for. The key insight here is that Minimax agent doesn't just build websites, it builds functional workflows and business tools. And with this, you can build the right foundations that usually cost thousands of dollars and weeks of development. So what exactly is Minimax agent and why is it so powerful in building business foundations? As you could see in the examples, Minimax agent works similar to JetGPT, but it is more powerful. It has agentic features, which allows it to first plan out what it wants to do and then access certain things, for example, an image generator, or it can code or it can create websites and deploy code so that you can view those websites online. And this is what makes it really powerful. You can see here, here are some other use cases of people using it for coding, for research, creating PowerPoints and slides, or using multimodal things, for example, the uh, Google Maps asset over here. If you want to be really advanced, let me know in the descriptions. I can make another video, but you can also add different MCPs. For example, you can connect it to your Figma, your Slack, your Notion, your GitHub, your GitLab, um, your MySQL server in order to get more out of uh, your different agents. And you can access your specific Slack channel, for example, or your Notion uh, boards in order to create more in-depth and more detailed applications. For complete transparency, uh, Minimax reached out to me in order to review their tool. So thank you so much for giving me early access before launching this publicly and letting me review this because I love being uh, at the forefront of AI. And this uh, has been really fun. And even though I was asked to review this tool, all of the opinions in this video are my own. Minimax has a free tier and it has refreshing credits that are constantly refresh, or you can upgrade to uh, a plan, the basic plan, which gives you 5,000 credits valid for one month or 20,000 valid for one month for $70. If you were wondering how much the different application costs that I built, you can see here, um, I had a total of 5,000 credits and I'm currently at 800 credits. So building seven different applications probably cost around 4,000 credits. All right, as I promised, I'm giving you everything. So check the links in the description for reference if you want to check out the prompts, the different tools that I built, or uh, check out this Minimax AI agent. And if you made it all the way here, you probably want to subscribe 
why? Because I'm creating similar videos to this one where I showcase the latest AI technologies and I'm actually working on a few videos right now that are super exciting. So you wanna be the first to see those when they come out. But I also wanna hear from you, which of these four business foundations interested you the most and which ones would you like to see a full series where I try to make passive income with them? I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.